As part of diversification of the nation's economy from oil and the gas, residents of Abuja are appealing to the federal government to do more in showcasing the Nigerian art, culture, and textile sector to the world. They believe this will help boost the nation's economy. Maria Mohammed reports and will return with business news. Arts, culture, and textile are an increased part of our society. The Nigerian fashion and textile scene is one of the visible and booming arts today. This is because these textiles are used for various occasions and events such as wedding, funerals, among others. The textiles are divided into four parts, patterns, applique, dyeing, embroidery, weaving. Applique is used in many parts of Nigeria for different purposes. In the East, it is used for costumes of Ijele masquerade. The Yoruba use it for Egugun masquerade. The Anang and Ebibio use it to make funeral banners, and it is used in the North for Durban festivals, as well as drawings for their horses. In pattern dyeing, we have Adire and Ukara, which is an indigo tie and dye pattern cloth, which was founded by the Yorubas after independence. Ukara is a special indigo dyed cloth from Imo State, worn during meetings. The difference between both clothes is that Adire is mainly indigo, while Ukara is indigo clothes with white patterns and motifs. In weaving, we also have Ashoke of the Yorubas, Akwete of Abia, and Yocha of Delta textiles, which are white with different patterns and motifs integrately woven into it. There are two major types of weaving used in Nigeria, the horizontal for men and the vertical for women. And the Hausa men weavers are known for their caps for men, wrappers for women, geometric shapes and patterns are usually used. They are also known for embroidery, especially on caps and men's robes. But over the years, this sector was neglected due to federal government policies and lack of finance. It gave way for less production and increased importation of textiles by wholesalers and retailers in the markets. Citizens believe if the potential of this sector is fully harnessed, it will create jobs for useful population and generate more revenue for the nation. The government needs to create an enabling environment for these businesses to strive in this our country. Because most businesses are closing, they are leaving this country because they can't survive. Just look around the, the streets, you see all these shoes going around, up and down. So if there is a way that they will just make production easy for us in the country to be better. They're going to be a community. Every state will contribute their quota. We build a document which will make possible and sent to every arm of government to see that we have something to offer. TVC News spoke to fashion designers and fashion enthusiasts who shed lights on the challenges they face in the industry and how the sector can thrive. Government needs to support those artisans and ensuring that their production and the art is preserved and is available as well everywhere. Like to get the Kano dye pit fabrics, I have to go all the way to Kano. Why wouldn't the Kano state government have centers around Nigeria where it could be like a warehouse for us to pick it? They Someone else, like all our designers would say, all we look for is funding. Because we're importing 80% of everything that we're using, chances are you would need funding to bring in these fabrics and the raw materials that you need to make what you're making to show the world. Nigerians and the federal government are encouraged to do whatever they can to promote arts and culture as it is the only way we can preserve our cultural heritage as it is our identity. Mari Mohammed, TVC News, Abuja.